Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video and that is because we are going to get some new bing bangs for the videos. I'm always trying to bring you the latest and the newest stuff and just simply stuff that I haven't filmed yet. The whole goal is to fill up the interwebs full of bing bangs and boo lights stuff. So no matter what somebody types into the internet, they find old who to who channel. So that's part of the reason that we do a ton of videos and I never sleep and I'm always working. The other reason is I got bills to pay uh, and now I'm broke. But anyways, super excited today. I got some some of my some of my kin folk back here in the back seat. Ah! There's little baby and big baby and little boy and my puppy dog Bruce. <laughs> He's a full blood basset hound. Anyways, we drove over here to Manchester, Tennessee, giving Mommy a break. And no school today because of tornadoes that come through. Uh, but we're up here at the Sonic. I said whoever came with Daddy got to have treats. So we're about to have some treats. Then we're going to run over to Tolliver's. Y'all that watch the show have seen them before, but awesome place to pick up some bing bangs and some boot lights. Always got something new in there. Uh, yeah, but we're picking up a bunch of stuff today because we need a bunch of new stuff for the videos. Come along, check it out. If y'all are ever looking at looking for something, give uh, give Tolliver's a shout. Tell them I sent you. And tell them what you need because they can probably find it. Are y'all ready for treats or should we just skip the treats? Treats! All right. All right, so what everybody get? Jackson got M&M, Sonic Blast, Charlie got a strawberry shake, and little girl, I got little girl Reese's uh, ice cream, and she said she wanted to eat the chicken and fries. She didn't want no ice cream. Were you hungry? Chicken too. Oh yeah, he got some chicken too, but. We're gonna eat this stuff, then we're gonna head over to Tolliver's. See what's happening. Pick up these new bing bangs. I'm excited. All right. We made it down here to the Squire and Tolliver's. Look at that boy. He's just a pretty boy. Check it out. Tolliver's on the Square in Manchester, Tennessee. Y'all gonna finish your ice cream? Yeah. Then we're gonna go in here and see what kind of bing bangs we need to pick up for the video. So you finished? All right. Then yeah, we'll pick up these bing bangs, then we'll get to the house and I'll show you all about them. I'm excited. It's gonna be cool. Got a lot more videos to film. Check it out. All right, I found some cool stuff. Check it out. This thing right here. Oh, well, that one's cool too, but that's not the one I was looking for. There's a semi 243 Remington. Don't see those much. This is the one I was talking about. BAR or bar and 300 wind mag. That's super cool. This is a cool one too. Henry 12 gauge slug. And it's got fiber optic sights on it. Three inch slug. That's pretty cool from Henry. And they can get you Ruger American in everything. Even the go wilds. Definitely can get you everything. They get me everything. All right, so you can see we got a Bergara box here. Then we got a big old box that has four different bing bangs in it. So uh, we got our work cut out for us. But man, like I said, always worth the drive to go to Tolliver's. And no matter if you're close or not, they can get us everything. So give them a shout, tell them I said hi. That 300 Windmag bar, I don't even know if you're supposed to call it a bar or a BAR. 
that's a pretty rare thing. That was pretty cool to see. Um, then they had that 243 semi. That's pretty rare too. You don't see those a whole lot. I think they still make those. Remington does, but I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, and they're also like the Ruger American Kings of the World. That's where I just got my new uh, seven millimeter PRC Ruger American. So, Tolliver's, it's an awesome spot. And I always love driving over there. I got the puppy dog okay, tail here. But let me run to the house. We'll show you everything we got in these boxes. I'm super excited about that. We're fixing to get to filming this week. So, see you back at the house. All right, so here's the deal. I showed you guys Bergara. I feel like I'm too zoomed in right now, but I guess I'm not. I showed you guys there's one Bergara, then I had a big box and four others in that one. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run right through them real quick. We're not gonna go crazy into detail. I'm gonna do that in future videos. Make sure you're subscribed, got the notification bell on. But comment down below which one you're most excited about to see or which one you're most interested in. And I'll take a look at all those and that'll be the ones we'll do first. But check it out. No particular order. We'll read in the box. This is a CZ600 Trail 223. Very cool. I first saw this about a year ago at a show. Never seen one in person. I don't think there's very many out there. There's probably not very many videos on it. CZ600 Trail. This one's in 223. I bet you a bunch of you guys are going to put this in your comment. I want to see that trail because... Uh, I know what this is, and I know that it's very cool. This one's in 223. They also, I believe, are going to make it, or are making it, in 762 by 39. Oh, check it out. Ha 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 Woo! That's the CZ600 trail, guys. Threaded barrel. Rail across the top. How cool is that? It's got the, uh, this is... Fresh out the box, guys. I haven't taken a look at these or anything. The rail comes, the, uh, that comes back somehow. Come on. Am I gra not grabbing it right? Come on, man. Figure it out. All right, so right off the bat, not intuitive how to get this piece back. Hold on. I'll be right back. I got to figure this out. There we go. It is pretty intuitive, I guess. Button is right there, and that brings your your deal out right there. But that is a CC CZ 600 trail, guys. Pretty cool. Uh, uh, there's a little mag in here. Show you what came in the box. Appears to be a 10 rounder, 5.56 10 round mag. Uh, pretty cool. CZ trail. CZ 600 trail. Uh, yeah. Pretty awesome. That'd be a perfect one to, to have in your truck, whatnot, whatever. If you haven't heard of it, now you have. Uh, yeah, pretty sweet. CZ600 Trail, 223. Put this up and grab another one. All right, what's this one? This one, believe it or not, I may be the most excited about in this bunch because it's the cheapest and the most budget friendly. You guys that watch the show know that's what I'm all about affordable things and doing cool things with them this is a cz 600 al2 alpha if you're not familiar with this this is kind of their uh cz's kind of this is not in cz's words this is in my words comparison to uh like a ruger american or even a cva cascade maybe i don't know i haven't had one out yet never had one in my hands uh outside of uh uh, a show like I saw one of these at the NWTF turkey show uh, last year but this is a CZ 600 Alpha uh, N65 PRC so you can see kind of a, a composite stock or whatever pretty heavy contour barrel there which is exciting uh, Rail attachment points on top for your scope. That's cool. You don't have to worry about an extra uh, rail. It's me machined into the receiver. That's a bonus for me. But yeah, this is in 6.5 PRC. Heavier, longer barrel. 6.5 PRC. Like I said, these are, I would say, I would call them budget friendly. Um, 
yeah, it's not like a Savage Axis at Walmart budget friendly, but it is like a Ruger American budget friendly. Um, I kind of like how this is more drop down, almost like a a competition rig or a bench rest rig. Um, that's really cool, and I really love the fit of it. I really hope that this one does great groups. Again, that's the CZ uh, 600 Alpha. That's probably the one that I'm most excited about. But let's get this one in the box. Let's go back so we can grab another one. Hold on. All right, this will be number three. Number three here. Another CZ. This is a CZ 600 ST2 in six millimeter Creedmoor. And it's got a 24 inch barrel. So a long barrel, six millimeter Creedmoor. And it's called the CZ 600 ST2. I don't think I've ever seen one of these, period. And at least in my, in person. Very nice, very nice. Very nice stock. Pretty cool looking stock. Oh my goodness. That is heavy. Oh my goodness. See, that's got the straight drop down. I absolutely love that type of stock. Heavier contoured barrel. My goodness. Threaded barrel. This is awesome. And it's just an absolutely beautiful stock. Look at that. You can see through the bottom of the stock to see the barrel. That's pretty cool. But man, and this has attachments on the bottom. You can put bag riders or whatever on that. The uh, appears that the, the stock, you can unlock and raise the cheek piece. That is cool, man. But hey, I said we weren't gonna dive too deep into them. That's the CZ 600 ST2 with that really cool stock. And again, that was a six millimeter Creedmoor. So you can bet your bottom dollar we're gonna be doing some boo live testing and all of that stuff. Man, that's exciting. But we got two more. So what else we got to talk about? Oh, this one right here. Ooh, this one's going to be a pretty one. This one is a CZ600 Lux. It's called the CZ600 ST3 Lux. I know off the top of my head that the Lux has a really nice walnut stock. This one is in 30 out 6 with a 20 inch barrel. So, the, uh, the Lux, um, they're nice. I've never seen the Lux in person, but I've seen them, I've seen them on the interwebs, and they've definitely got some fancy pants to them. So uh, let's take this out of the box so we can see it. Oh yeah! So check this out. This is 30 out six Lux walnut stock. Man, CZ does such a good job on these. But look, and I know a bunch of you guys are going to be excited about this. Iron sights. Got a red fiber optic in the front and a red fiber optic in the rear. Let me look at that. Oh, man, that just picks up so nice. 20-inch barrel. Yeah, we're going to have that at the range real soon. Let's see what these... Mags. CZ does a fantastic job. If you've had any of the rim fires or center fires, then you already know what I'm talking about. But this is the Lux in 30 out of 6. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be awesome. I already know. That is very, very nice. I've never seen one of those Luxes in person. Very, very nice. Stay tuned. Those are going to be a whole lot of fun, those videos. That was number four. We got one more. My goodness, it's like Christmas over here. If I can close that box. Now, this last one. This one, these were just released here recently. 
So, I, I don't think there's many of these out there yet. This is a Bergara B14 Wilderness Ridge, and it says 308 20 inch barrel Omni. Wilderness Ridge, it actually says Wild Ridge on the box, B14 Wild Ridge, but Bergara, I believe they're called Wilderness Ridge. Whoa. I know this is going to be nice because I looked this one up in detail before I picked it up. Carbon fiber barrel. Wowzers. Muzzle brake from the factory. Got a rail on it. Man, and that is light. Picking that up, that is light. But you might recognize this from the stock. Regard does those really cool stocks. Uh, and again, we're not gonna, going into detail on any of this stuff for this video. This is just a picking it up and check it out video. Factory muzzle brake, heavier barrel, carbon fiber barrel, uh, sub MOA guarantee on these Bergara B14s. Shoo I want to just sit here and nerd out on every single one of these, but I said we weren't going to go into detail. Bergara B14 Wilderness Ridge 308 carbon fiber barrel. I know tons of you are going to be interested in this one too. And this is a 20 inch barrel, so put your shusher machine on the end of there and you're ready to go chase after some deers or whatever with your 308. But hey, appreciate everybody tuning into this video. Like I said, comment down below what you want to see first. We're going to film every single one of these. Um, and we're going to do it real fast. And here's why. Here's the catch. <coughs> Oop, I didn't put that sling back in there. I'll do that. that. All five of these, there's the four boxes there and there's the Bergara. Every single one of these is ones that I'm borrowing and I got to send back. So, the kind folks at CZ sent those over to us. And then the kind folks from Bergara sent us this Bergara. And I got to send them all back. They're just uh, borrowers. They said, you want to film some videos? And I said, yeah. You know we film videos every day. Let's do it. Um, and that's the case for every single one of these. So uh, let me know which one you want to see. But I'm going to be filming these as fast as I can. Because I got to get them back to the people who technically own them. You know what I mean? But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Um, and I appreciate them letting me take these for a spin and show you guys what we think about them. You guys know we don't do any monkey business. We're the realest bing bang channel on the interwebs. We just turn the cameras on and what happens is what happens. And I get to see what happens and you guys get to see what happens when we post the videos up. But appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate my buddies down there at Tolliver's. Uh, that's, that's the place to go whether you're here around me or you're not. Um, they always get cool stuff. I love seeing what people trade in. The used stuff. And there's something in speci there's something specific in there that I've been wanting for like six months. And they know what it is. Uh, there's like five things in there I want every time. Uh, uh, semi 300 Win Mag. That bar or B-A-R, however you're supposed to say it. That was very tempting for me not to pick up. Comment down below if you want me to go pick that up. That might, that might fly off the shelf. It, it might be there three months from now. Sometimes it's hard to tell with that stuff. But I'm not going to ramble anymore. We got five more Bing Bangs to film on top of the stuff that I already have piled up. <laughs> that I got to be filming. I bought myself a Ruger American Go Wild 30 out 6 for Christmas. And I still hadn't even put a scope on it. And here we're in April. But hey, I could ramble on all day about this stuff. I am very excited. Super, super excited. Every single one of the things that we talked about here in this video. Absolutely. Floats my boat and blows my hair back. But hey, let me know which one you want to see first. The one you're most excited about. Appreciate y'all watching. We have the best viewers on the interwebs. Really means a lot when you click on the videos, watch the whole thing, and share it with your friends. I really appreciate y'all, and, and I mean that a lot. We'll see you guys on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo!